Welcome to part four, respond. In this section, we will consider how to be most effective in creating a response to the issues you have identified in your schools. Often when people care about a cause, they have the best intentions of addressing the issue. However, if not carefully considered, they can either be ineffective or cause more harm than good. For example, according to The Guardian, in Northeast Uganda, a charity built a well for a community in the village of Abia. However, the well was badly constructed and poorly maintained, and it was actually causing people to get sick from the drinking water. As you can see with this example, just because you have good intentions doesn't mean you aren't going to cause harm. So we have to carefully consider our actions before taking them. So before you respond and think about how you want to approach an issue, we urge you to consider the following. Ask yourself, is this response the most effective way to address the issue? Often when we're thinking of responding, we look to what we call a charity response. A charity response is a short-term solution that doesn't necessarily challenge the current system, but looks to alleviate an immediate need. While this is important, it's also pivotal to address the root causes of an issue to create long-term social change. Let's look at an example like homelessness. The charitable response to homelessness is to donate to homeless shelters or to collect items like socks or other clothing or serve meals. This helps alleviate their suffering, but does not address why they may be homeless in the first place. Also, these charitable responses are needed for, for, for survival, like providing meals, but do not offer long-term solutions to address poverty. The social change model looks at challenging a current system so the problem no longer exists. It looks for long-term solutions that address the causes of an issue rather than just the symptoms. To understand how to truly address homelessness, we need to look at its root causes. The obvious root cause of homelessness is a lack of a permanent home. However, the reason someone does not have a home may vary widely and also has a variety of contributing factors, such as lack of affordable housing, mental health issues that are often worsened by the stress of homelessness, lack of adequate access to social assistance, social factors such as violence, abuse, and social exclusion, discrimination based upon socioeconomic status, and stereotypes about people without a home. Some social change responses to homelessness may include increasing social assistance, improving our mental health care system, or increasing access to affordable housing. Both social change and charity responses to the issues are important. Learn more about social change versus charity responses by taking our quiz below and see if you can identify what is a charity response and what is a social change response. The second thing to consider when responding to a situation is the importance of partnership. When addressing an issue, it is important that you work directly in collaboration with the community or communities affected by the issue make sure you're responding in the most effective manner. Lastly, do your research. See what other people have done to provide solutions to your issue or cause. All right, so time for a quick recap. I'm gonna go through review with you to just go over everything that we just spoke about. First off, consider both social change and charity responses when addressing the root cause or symptoms of an issue. Secondly, partnership. Talk to those and find advocates that share their experiences, wants, and needs. Don't assume you know what any community needs without speaking to the individuals of that community first. And thirdly, do your research. Look for best practices and what other solutions have been provided for the issue. Putting it into action. Let's start with planning your initiatives. Once you have considered all these factors, it is time to start putting together your plan. Feeling overwhelmed? See a list of some sample initiatives below. Choose from these or come up with your own. What is a plan? Well, a plan is a way to make sure your ideas are made and concrete. It describes the way your group will use its strategies to meet its objectives. An action plan consists of all the steps we took in order to bring changes to your school and community. Why should you develop a plan? There's an inspirational quote that says, People don't plan to fail. Instead, they fail to plan. Because you certainly don't want to fail, it makes sense to take all of the steps necessary to ensure success, including developing an action plan. There are lots of good reasons to work out the details of your group's work in an action plan. These reasons include 
showing members of your school and community that your ideas are well thought out and dedicated to getting things done. To be sure you don't overlook any of the details. To understand what is and isn't possible for your group to do. For efficiency, to save time, energy, money, and other resources in the long run. For accountability, to increase the chances that people will do what needs to be done. To help you plan your initiative, use the action planning forms provided below to get started. The forms you will need are, first, the Social Changemakers Club sign-up sheet. This form will help you keep track of your group and officially welcome you into the Social Changemakers family. The second sheet you will need is the initiative planning sheet. If you choose one of our activities or if you came up with one of your own, this sheet will help you to break down your plan and help you determine what you need to make your plan successful. When completing this form, you will need to refer back to your strength and resources survey to help you answer the questions and finalize your plans. The third thing that you will need is a blank sheet of paper. You will need this sheet to write down additional details of your plan, such as who will be supporting your activity, whether that may be teachers, parents, or religious leaders, as well as any other important details that may come to mind. And lastly, but most importantly, you need to set a date. A date that you will launch your initiative. Setting a date is a good way of ensuring that your plans happen and allows other people to work towards a goal. It also gives others an idea of when they'll be able to participate in your activity. Once you have chosen a date, write it down and email it to us. We will put you on our Social Changemakers calendar so that other Social Changemakers across the province will know what you are up to.